All right, so you're researching Lakewood Ranch, trying to figure out if it's the right place for you to call home. Or maybe you already know it's the right place, but you're trying to wrap your head around this surprisingly large community to figure out where exactly the best locations, neighborhoods, and homes are. Well, either way, this video's got you covered because we're going to take an in-depth look at all things real estate in Lakewood Ranch with the goal of ensuring you walk away from this video with a much better idea of the community and which options within Lakewood Ranch are going to be the right fit for you. First, let's quickly review what Lakewood Ranch is. Lakewood Ranch is the number one multi-generational master plan community in the USA. If you'd like more backstory on the history of Lakewood Ranch, along with all the attractions here, including Waterside Place, Main Street, all the incredible restaurants, UTC just along the border, the parks, the great schools, and everything else, I'll link one of my longer, broader videos on the community below. But to summarize it all, Lakewood Ranch is a 50 square mile tract of farmland, which around 30 years ago took on the task of essentially trying to engineer the most enjoyable community possible. Think of it as a bustling mid-sized town roughly between Sarasota, St. Petersburg, and Tampa, Florida that was designed by a small group of people with a high-level understanding of a building and community development, which was then tested in the free market and has since been a resounding success with more people moving into homes in Lakewood Ranch than any other community of its kind for six straight years. Now that we have the quick backstory out of the way, let's jump into the real reason most of you are watching this. We'll explain the real estate here by focusing on two central aspects of Lakewood Ranch. One, the type of neighborhoods available on Lakewood Ranch, and two, the geographic layout of the entire community. I'll break each of these aspects down into three separate categories. For the types of neighborhoods, we have resale, new construction, and luxury. And for each neighborhood within these categories, I'll show you where exactly the neighborhood lies within the three geographic locations of Lakewood Ranch, including Northern Lakewood Ranch, Central Lakewood Ranch, and Southern Lakewood Ranch. Northern Lakewood Ranch is the furthest removed from all the town centers, but at the same time, there's still a lot of new shopping and dining developments in this location. This section features a lot of new construction and even the resales here are relatively new. While it could be said that the neighborhoods here are more isolated, the neighborhoods themselves are very large and the amenities and activities within each neighborhood are so extensive that each village sort of operates as its own tight little community. The average price per square foot here is also lower than the lower two sections of Lakewood Ranch. Central Lakewood Ranch is where the development started in the community from the late 90s to the early 2010s. The neighborhoods there are very established with beautifully grown in oaks and palms, and it's also the location of Lakewood Ranch Main Street, a major hub for shopping, dining, entertainment, and big events. Below Central Lakewood Ranch is South Lakewood Ranch. County regulations actually did not allow residential development here until very recently, so everything is brand new. This of course is the location of Waterside Place, Lakewood Ranch's newest town center with great architectural continuity, fantastic restaurants, live music, and weekly markets and events. Jetting out from the town center are pedestrian friendly streets and outlets followed by a large park, 11 residential neighborhoods, and a handful of apartments. Now that we know a little more about each section of Lakewood Ranch, we'll dive into the neighborhoods. But before we do, I did want to interrupt this video very quickly just to remind you guys watching who are really doing serious research to find the right home. I make these videos because I am a realtor and I want to initiate a dialogue and eventually work with those of you who are doing serious research about where you want to live. If you guys do do that, we will be in touch. We can zoom initially and go over all the neighborhoods and all the homes and really drill down on, on where we should be focusing on, at which point I'll make sure you're aware of all the listings, all the information, all the video that you need to be aware of. And then when you're in town, I'll book the showings, show you guys the neighborhoods and the homes in person. And then most importantly, when it is time to actually negotiate, I know where all of these builders are flexible, uh, what incentives I can add on so we can really negotiate that purchase price and the terms in your favor. And that of course goes with resale too. So keep that in mind guys, my number's in the corner of the screen. Hopefully I'll hear from some of you. And with that out of the way, we'll get back into the video. In light of the obvious benefits of owning a brand new home along with the builder incentives, I typically recommend clients look at new construction options first. So we'll begin by exploring the neighborhood still actively building homes. This will of course change over time, but as of this recording, there are currently 23 neighborhoods with enough remaining inventory to truly be considered new construction. On the lower end of the price spectrum, we have Avalon Woods built by Ryan Homes, Star Farms by DR Horton, Lorraine Lakes by Lennar Homes, 
Aurora, a smaller community also built by Lennar with fewer amenities, and Azario Park East from Taylor Morrison, all of which have single-family homes in the 400s and up, but also feature townhomes in the $300,000 range. Next, there are single-family home neighborhoods of Solera by DR Horton and Sapphire Point from Pulte Homes, both of which feature houses again starting as low as the $400,000 to $500,000 range, working up to $1 million for the larger pool homes in each of those neighborhoods. The following neighborhoods still in Northern Lakewood Ranch will have a slightly higher price per square foot and will feature more attention to detail with higher end finishes. This includes Sweetwater from MI Homes, Crestwind, the 55 plus active adult community from Coulter Homes, Azario Esplanade, a beautiful amenity rich golf and country club from Taylor Morrison with a brand new golf course, pickleball, spa, multiple restaurants and club activities. There's also Del Webb, Catalina, the second Del Webb community in Lakewood Ranch, which is just getting underway. And there's also the regional builder Homes by West Bay, which is building single family homes back in Star Farms. These will be beautiful higher end homes with larger floor plans, high ceilings and large kitchens, offering some of the best value in Lakewood Ranch. Finally, in this northern section, you have two brand new neighborhoods which have yet to release a ton of information, but we can definitely speculate. There is Palm Grove by Neal Communities, which should have a similar feel to other Neal Communities like Indigo and Windward. And there's also Calusa National by Lennar Homes, which will be the second major country club built by Lennar in Lakewood Ranch. And this should feature all the same amenities and the professionally designed golf course that you see in the first Lennar Country Club, Lakewood National. In Central Lake Ranch, you have two high-end semi-custom home neighborhoods, including the smaller community of Waterbury Park, built by Neal Communities Semi-Custom Division, Neal Signature Homes. And you also have the beautiful old Florida-style neighborhood built by Toll Brothers called the Isles. Moving on to the southern section of Lakewood Ranch, moving from lower prices to higher prices, we first have Nautique, with beautiful townhomes in the $400,000 to $500,000 range, walking distance from Waterside Place Town Center. There's also Bungalow Walk with urban style housing from the 500s to the 800,000s. And right next to the town center at Waterside, there's Emerald Landing, another very pedestrian friendly urban style neighborhood with luxury townhomes and single family homes starting in the 600,000s up to the low 1 millions. Moving further south along Fruitville and Lorraine Road, there's Windward, another Neal community with villas in the high 400s and single family homes all the way up to the low 1 millions. There's also Monterey, another semi-custom neighborhood from Toll Brothers, which at this point is pretty far removed from the rest of Lakewood Ranch. And moving back into the Waterside Place Town Center section of Southern Lakewood Ranch, we have the semi-custom offerings of the Alcove, a smaller community of just 47 homes. And then nearby, there's Shellstone, a neighborhood featuring semi-custom options from Homes by Town and fully custom homes from Lee Weatherington. Finally, there's Wild Blue the high-end luxury neighborhood in Waterside Place featuring five of Southwest Florida's most renowned custom builders along with what will be Lakewood Ranch's greatest amenity center. The resale communities make up a very large portion of the inventory in Lakewood Ranch with a total of 25 neighborhoods to choose from. I like to separate the resale here into three subcategories. The old and original neighborhoods, the more recently completed resale neighborhoods, and the resale condos. When it comes to the old or original neighborhoods built between 2000 and 2014, I'll list them from the lowest average price point to the highest. Starting out, you have three very similar non-gated neighborhoods in Greenbrook Village, Summerfield, and Riverwalk with prices from the low 400,000s all the way up to 1 million, all of which are located in the central Lakewood Ranch region. You have two slightly more recent neighborhoods at slightly higher price points in Harmony and Central Park, both of which are located in the northern section of Lake Ranch. Then moving back to the central region of Lake Ranch again, you have higher end neighborhoods starting with Lake Ranch's first ever luxury community, Edgewater. And most notably in Central Lakewood Ranch, you have the Country Club and Country Club East. Both are golf communities with a very robust social and athletic club membership. And the price points in these two communities vary widely, with some homes still dipping into the 500,000s and others exceeding 3, 4, and 5 million. Moving on to resale neighborhoods that closed out sales anywhere from 2015 to 2024, the neighborhoods are either in the northern section of Lake Ranch or the southern section of Lake Ranch. As I've said in the past, these newer resale neighborhoods are distinct from their older counterparts due to the maintenance-free landscape, along with larger scale amenities, including resort-style pools, athletic courts, and indoor amenities funded by slightly higher HOA dues. 
Starting in the northern section, there are two single-family home and villa neighborhoods built by Neal Communities, named Eagle Trace and Indigo. There are also two communities built by Pulte, including Mallory Park with a unique urban-style, pedestrian-friendly layout and distinctly southern-inspired architecture, and then there's also Del Webb, the well-known active adult community, one of only four 55-plus communities within Lakewood Ranch. Finally, the national builder Lennar has five neighborhoods in this section, including four of the typical Lennar-style neighborhoods of Bridgewater, Savannah, Arbor Grand, and Polar Run, along with Lennar's fifth neighborhood titled Lakewood National. The sprawling golf and country club with multiple restaurants, spas, racket sports, an Arnold Palmer designed golf course, and a diversity of units from single family homes to coach homes to condos. The final resale community on this northern end of Lakewood Ranch is Esplanade Golf and Country Club, built by Taylor Morrison. This very large and expansive golf club also features restaurants, a resort style pool, and a spa, extensive club activities, racket sports, golf, and again, a variety of single family homes and condos available. Moving south into Sarasota County in the southern section of Lake Ranch, you have three more resale communities, all of which finished selling new construction very recently in 2024. This includes Avanti, one of Lakewood Ranch's most affordable neighborhoods with single-family homes, villas, and townhomes all built by Pulte. Nearby, there's another Pulte neighborhood at higher price points from one to two million, right on the edge of Waterside Place's town center called Shoreview. And more recently is Lake House Cove, a beautiful development from Homes by Town featuring their own homes and also beautiful lakefront custom homes from Arthur Ruttenberg and Lee Weatherington. As far as condos, coach homes, and townhomes are concerned, you also have quite a bit to choose from. There are the more classic condo communities of Lake Vista Residences and Watercrest, both of which are conveniently walking distance to Lake Ranch Main Street. And there's also the luxury offerings of Waterfront on Main, which, as the name suggests, is located on the lake adjacent to the movie theater and the town hall in Lake Ranch Main Street. As I mentioned earlier, you also have condos and coach homes within the golf neighborhoods of Country Club East, Lakewood National, and Esplanade. And finally, many of the aforementioned single-family home neighborhoods have enclaves of well-built townhomes offered at a lower price point. These townhomes are all pretty similar, featuring four to eight units per structure with a block frame on the first level featuring a living room and kitchen, and then a wood frame second story hosting the three bedrooms and most of the bathrooms. If you've been following along with the presentation from start to finish so far, we've actually discussed a few of the luxury neighborhoods in Lakewood Ranch already, but we'll go over all of them now in much more detail. We can divide the luxury neighborhoods into two subcategories, the semi-custom neighborhoods and the fully custom neighborhoods featuring everything from modest sized options to very large and grandiose custom mansions. Starting with the semi-custom, there are two Neal communities still building the alcove in Waterside Place, the southern portion of Lakewood Ranch, and then there's also Waterbury Park down in central Lakewood Ranch next to the Lake Club. Continuing with semi-custom homes, you also have two Toll Brothers communities, the first of which is the Isles. The Isles honors the Florida lifestyle with coastal architecture, natural preserve space, and a really nice outdoor amenity center. Toll Brothers second community, Monterey, has a little bit more of a modern feel, but it's also very secluded in a much more quiet section of Lakewood Ranch. Both of these neighborhoods are priced roughly from the 1 million to low 2 millions. Finally, wrapping up the semi-custom neighborhoods, we have the two neighborhoods developed by Homes by Town, Lake House Cove and Shellstone, both of which are located in Waterside Place in the southern section of Lake Ranch, and both will feature top-of-the-line amenities. The ceiling of homes in these two neighborhoods will be a little bit higher because there are some really excellent fully custom resales and to be built homes from Lee Weatherington and Arthur Ruttenberg in both of these neighborhoods that exceed the $3 million mark. Moving on to the fully custom homes in Lake Ranch, we have four fantastic resale neighborhoods and three new construction neighborhoods. For the resale category, the first two options are the Country Club and Country Club East. Not all of the homes in these neighborhoods exceed the million dollar mark. However, the Country Club does have quite a few custom homes exceeding 7,000 square feet some of which have been listed in the three to six million dollar range. And across Lorraine Road in the newer section of the neighborhood known as Country Club East, there are a variety of custom homes between two and three million from some of Lakewood Ranch's most prominent custom builders, including John Cannon, Arthur Ruttenberg, and Lee Weatherington. 
Moving along with the resale luxury, the final two neighborhoods in this category have a much higher average price point. The first of which is the Lake Club. The Lake Club features a carefully curated environment and a good mix of Tuscan themed common ground architecture and very well thought out landscaping, which after a decade and a half has grown in very beautifully. Although the neighborhood began development way back in 2007, the final homes were built as recently as 2024 and there are still a handful of lots available. Prices range anywhere from the high 1 millions to homes worth over 10 million. And the architectural variety is as broad as it gets with virtually every style of home on display throughout the neighborhood. Nearby, also in Central Lakewood Ranch, is the Concession. This, like the Lake Club, features homes over a decade old all the way up to homes being built now with a few lots still available. The architectural variety is also very much on display here in the concession and the price spread is also very similar, although the floor is a little bit higher here in the concession with prices typically ranging from 2.5 million at the bottom of the spectrum all the way up to 7 million and above. Unlike the Lake Club, the concession has a little bit more of an old Florida charm to it with far more pine trees preserved and it's also a golf community, although the golf membership is separate. If you like a more classic luxury neighborhood with far larger lots and grown in trees and far more architectural variety, then the Lake Club and the concession are fantastic options for you. Otherwise, we'll explore these three brand new construction luxury communities that are also extremely exciting. First up is Wild Blue. I've already done a full video on this community, which I'll link below, but for a quick rundown, it features 505 home sites, some of which are small, as small as 64 feet wide, and then they gradually increase up to sites that are a full acre. The neighborhood features five builders, including Stock Luxury Homes and their custom division, Lee Weatherington, Arthur Ruttenberg, John Cannon, and Anchor Builders. All of the builders offer custom options, and Stock, the developer, also has a lineup of pre-designed floor plans that are extremely appealing, but also come at a lower price per square foot. The neighborhood sits on two very large and beautiful lakes, offering very unique views, and as I mentioned earlier, the amenities should be the best anywhere in Lakewood Ranch. Finally, there are two boutique custom communities in Lake of Ranch, both of which are being developed and built by the luxury custom builder, John Cannon. First, there's Monarch Acres, a neighborhood just next door to the concession in central Lake of Ranch with only eight home sites, all of which will be fully custom built with very loose architectural constraints on style and size, so the sky's the limit. This is the perfect location to build a very large, quiet Florida getaway just minutes away from the amenities of Lake of Ranch. The other very similar development also by John Cannon is Kingfisher Estates. This features 13 home sites from one half acre to a full acre directly on the main Kingfisher Lake in Waterside Place. These homes again are fully custom and the building codes will allow for docks directly on the lake. The expectation for both of these John Cannon neighborhoods is that every single home in both of these neighborhoods will be extremely impressive. But available lots are very limited, so if they sound appealing to you, I would definitely recommend reaching out to me for updated information. All right, guys, that's all I have for the full broad rundown of the real estate situation in Lakewood Ranch. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys can reference this as you come across these neighborhood names as you're looking at listings on my site and across all the other websites and apps like Zillow and Realtor.com. But keep in mind, especially if you're watching this far into the video, guys, my phone number has been on the screen for most of the video and I highly recommend that you reach out to me, text or call me so that I can pick your brain a little bit and really help you narrow down these options whether you're going to buy a home very soon or, you know, it's not going to be years from now. That's fine. I make these videos specifically to initiate a dialogue with people like yourselves. I'm here as your resource. I'm here to help. I look forward to discussing the options with many of you in the future. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys on the next video.